Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. Today we are going to discuss the S-550, a new air defense system which has been introduced recently by the Russian government. Let's see what this new system entails. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. On November 9th, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu cited the statement of President Vladimir Putin about the necessity to deliver the air defense systems S-350, S-500, and S-550 to the Russian troops. It implies that Russia has successfully developed an undeniably unknown weapon and is about to deploy it. This announcement took the public by surprise, yet the military circles have not unveiled any details about this new machinery, nor have they agreed on giving any relevant commentaries. Also going by the name 55R6M Triumphator M, S-550 is a Russian surface-to-air missile anti-ballistic missile system created to replace the A-135 missile system presently in service and to also provide support for the S-400. The S-500 was developed by Almaz Anti Air Defense Concern. It is first delivered in 2001, though already planned to be in production by 2014. According to the Pravda report, due to its characteristics, S-550 is unrivaled by any similar system in the world, being the top of its classes of space defense weapons. Still citing the same report, it is known that the weapon shares similarity with the U.S. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD system in that it will be synthesized into a single network of assets of defense in aerospace. Let's get into the history of how the Russians came up with the S-550. Initially, the existence of an air defense or missile defense system in Russia under the code S-550 had been unknown. The only project codenamed S-550 was started to be built back towards the end of the 1980s, at the end of the Soviet Union. It was meant to be an air defense unit with mobility that could intercept ballistic missiles among other things. However, before the final dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1988, the ongoing work and development on what was intended to be a massive air defense system fell to a cease. Subsequently, it is not widely known whether the project has anything to do with an array of new systems claimed by the Minister of Defense. Despite sharing a similar designation with the 1960s S-500U project, the relationship between the two remains unknown. The S-500U multi-channel anti-aircraft system was developed in 1968 by the Soviet Air Defense Forces, the Soviet Navy, the Ministry of Radio Industry, and the Ministry of Shipbuilding Industry to create a unified complex for the National Air Defense Troops, the Navy, and ground troops. The S-500U complex's missiles were designed to engage enemy aircraft at ranges of up to 100 kilometers. The Soviet Army rejected the S-500U SAM complex project, which required it to engage not only enemy aircraft but also short-range ballistic missiles. As a result, the S-300 family, SA-10 and SA-12 was created instead. The system was in the design stage at Almaz Anti in 2009 with a completion date of 2012. It was announced in February 2011 that the first S-500 units would be in serial production by 2014. Two S-500 production plants were to be built by 2013, with the first delivery scheduled for 2015 or 2017. Originally, 10 S-500 battalions were to be purchased for the Russian Aerospace Defense VKO as part of the State Armament Program 2020, GPV 2020. The S-500s will operate in tandem with the S-400s and will eventually replace the S-300 missile systems. The first units will be stationed in and around Moscow and the country's central region. A naval version is the likely armament for the new lighter class destroyer which is set to enter service after 2020. With the S-500, Russia conducted the longest range surface-to-air missile test to date in May 2018. The S-500 was able to hit a target 482 kilometers or around 300 miles away, according to reports citing unnamed sources familiar with U.S. intelligence on the program which is 80 kilometers further than the previous record. 
And then, on June 4, 2019, the Russian Ministry of Defense released a video of the successful launch of a new anti-ballistic missile system in the form of a long-range surface-to-air missile. Though the nature of the air defense system being tested was not specified, it is widely assumed to be a test of the S-500 Prometheus long-range surface-to-air missile system. For its operational history, the 1st Regiment of S-500 took off to combat mission after passing the state exams in Moscow on October 13, 2021. What do the experts have to say about the S-550? Experts thought that the S-550 will become an intermediate version of the S-500, with a notably cheaper price and the capability to perform other tactical tasks. While it can be inferred that S-500 is the first generation of air defense systems capable of intercepting ballistic and hypersonic missiles in space. Furthermore, experts believe that the S-550 is a variant that differs in additional combat characteristics from the basic S-500. It was upgraded for specific tasks as well as the ability to hit a variety of targets. The S-500 Prometheus is a universal long-range and high-altitude interceptor capable of intercepting ballistic crews and aerodynamic targets aircraft. The S-500 has a damage radius of about 600 kilometers. Its shipment to the military began a few months ago. State tests have just been completed, and the first system deliveries have begun. And that is not yet in the full nomenclature that Almaz Anti must create at the customer's request, Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov said in one of his statements. The difference between the S-500 and S-550, S-550 according to Viktor Murahovsky, Editor-in-Chief of Homeland Arsenal, is roughly the same as the difference between the S-350 and S-400. We can draw parallels between the S-350 and S-400 air defense units, which were developed at the same time but for different purposes, he says. The S-350 is a less expensive option designed for closer targets, whereas the S-400 is a more expensive option equipped with missiles capable of shooting down long-range reconnaissance aircraft such as the RC-135, ground target designation and reconnaissance aircraft such as the E-8, AWACS aircrafts, as well as strategic bombers at distances far beyond their fire range and other nuclear weapon carriers, Murahovsky says. Concomitantly, the S-550 will be definitely a cheaper alternative designed for shorter distances, while the S-500 is quite high in price and capable of conducting long-range and high-altitude missions.